What's growing on, Plan Army? Auto Trophy here. Jacob here. And we are bringing to you a bit of gameplay commentary. First time ever. I've never actually tried to talk live over. Well, not live. I'm not yeah, playing this game live. as I go. Not quite. Over a 10 minute span. Well, it's tr we're trying to make it one take. For 9, 10 minutes. And it's actually. It's going to be kind of interesting to see yeah. how this goes. I brought yes. Jacob with me because I didn't want to do oh, this yeah. alone for the first time. Talking for ten minutes. That, yeah, that see, takes the difference skill. is, we're, yeah, we're not just talking over the game, just saying like, all right, we're gonna kill this guy. We're doing this. We're actually gonna talk to you about something else. Yes. And that thing, in this case, is the Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah. We're doing this. New. We're doing this because we've finally gotten to a steady stream of outputting videos every day. We actually have some time in the day because track is over. So we're able to actually like spend some time actually putting a lot of time into the video, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty great because before a track we were actually starting to hit a peak and it was just like, great, our, our ratings were just going up. Well, not our ratings, but every graph you would look at, lines going up, track starts, boom, crashes to the ground, and our channel like died. But we're back because we get home like three hours earlier now and we are ready. And we've decided to talk about the Elder Scrolls Online, which I guess you can kick it off, Jacob, because, you know. Alright, so the Elder Scrolls Online, basically it's set to come out sometime in 2013, but no one knows when. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be sooner than later, though, because this, this MMORPG is going to be awesome. I'm guessing it's going to be better than World of Warcraft, and that's saying something, because I've played World of Warcraft myself, and I thought that was pretty awesome. But Skyrim's great, so we're basically it's basically bringing together the nerds of World of Warcraft and the nerds of the Elder Scrolls Online or the Elder Scrolls and just making it just a huge mosh pit of mosh nerdiness. pit of nerds and dorks, which is actually pretty yes. awesome. Profitable as hell, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you got a point there. So all right, so the. Oh, uh, you, you okay, go. yeah, I'll go. So, um, we, there's a bit of confusion, or not confusion, but undecidedness about the price point. We don't know if it's going to be a subscription, or we don't know if it's going to have a set price, we don't know if it's going to be free to play. Personally, I want it to be free to play, but I don't know if it'll be as successful if they do, if they do that. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel the same way, because every... All the um, subscription games are actually really nice, and but it's it's pretty clear that eventually the companies don't really need all that money they're making. They're just making a gigantic profit, but people still play it because it's such a great game, like World of Warcraft. But the free-to-play games, you always end up playing against people who have bought things that are so much better than the things that you have because they're not really free to play. They're free. They're not actually they're free to play, but they're not free to win. Which kind of sucks, so I don't play free-to-play games usually. Yeah. But hopefully if they do make it free-to-play, they can somehow make it in a way that doesn't rig it towards people who feel like spending money on weapons. Yeah, well, it works It works for games like uh, Team Fortress 2 because they already had such a huge fan base with the bot game, and then they just brought so many more people in when they made it free-to-play. Which, you know, at first I was yeah. kind of mad about, but it was cool because you could actually join and then just pay a yeah. few dollars to actually get in, which was actually really cool, actually. actually. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's something that uh, the other scrolls could do. They could actually just make it free to play, but then once you buy something, like in Team Fortress 2, all you have to do, do is like buy a key, and then you get the full version with all these different privileges that you get. So maybe they could have it be something like that. Like if you buy something just like a, for a small price, then you get more privileges. Yeah, it'd be really That'd cool. Be a way to do it. Um, and this the this whole pricing thing kind of brings us to the consoles, because uh, people are assuming that, like, which is kind of confusing. They're assuming that it's gonna be on the PS3 and the Xbox, which I don't I don't really know about because there's never been an MMO on yeah. on a console before, yeah. and I I Ex want it exactly. to work. <laughs> yeah, there's like. I don't really know many, I don't know if there has been an MMO on a console at all, yet alone, let alone like a con uh, an MMO that would be able to stretch in between both the Xbox and PS3. I mean, that, that would be fantastic if they could do something like that, and I don't understand why 
people haven't been really trying to push things like that lately because people would be able to make a lot more profit off that. Like if you could play between the PS, the PS3 and the Xbox, or the PC and the Xbox and things like that. Even the Wii U, I mean, come on, it's able to, yeah. it's able to do stuff like that. So basically, you're allowing every single gamer to play this game if you do that, which would be a huge plus for them. Like it would just be, it'd be perfect. Yeah, with like the fan base and the possible like uh, consoles to sell it over, and like the money they can make from the subscriptions and all the possibilities, it's crazy how like how profitable and like how perfect of an MMORPG this could really be. I really hope they do that. This could be really disappointing for me, or really like really fulfilling. <laughs> Based on you know, I can't get subscriptions. My mom's like, nah, 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 no subscriptions for you. So yeah, yeah. Like, even the, getting the phone was a challenge. So, uh, recently, as in yesterday, the, uh, there was a cinematic, really awesome cinematic trailer released. And um, they said, at the end of the, vi- the cinematic, they said that the beta will, it will be released as soon as the game is ready for testing. And that's a quote. You'll find it on elderscrollsonline.info. And you can um, you can sign up whenever you'd like, and uh, you just have to put in a detailed application. And if you don't actually put in a lot of detail, you probably won't be accepted. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that after this video, probably. We'll link you to and it. Hopefully, yeah, we'll link you to it, and you should go ahead and do that too. And if you manage to get in by some miracle, I don't know how many people are gonna accept, but. You can like leave a comment or a video response showing that you actually did it. That would be cool. That would, yeah, that'd, that'd be actually, actually that'd be great. And you know, we're we're gonna put in the time to do it. We might actually put some on the channel if we get in. We don't we don't actually know how much longer it's gonna be until this actually happens. Yeah. So uh, as we were talking about anticipation, this has been one of the pu- uh, most anticipated uh, MMORPGs in 2013 in a really long time actually so yeah I'm, I'm excited yeah. I really I, I just really want it to be accessible to me that's the biggest thing yeah that's the thing like a lot of a lot of gamers like they don't want to pay a lot of money obviously so if they're able to create a sub- even if they just like create a subscription that's less than I think World of Warcraft is $15 per month which I mean if you think about it is actually pretty hefty 12 times 15 that's I don't know that's quite a bit per year, but if they're able to have a price like five dollars per month, maybe five dollars would be could, great. Like, I mean, that's like affordable. It's affordable, but also like it would take people from World of Warcraft and bring them over to the older the Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, I mean, and you're kind of weaning out all of the the little kids who you know don't get the <laughs> yeah. g- game for free because they can't. Because then you actually get the people who earn what. Like earn money, which would which would be pretty yeah. good. I feel like the subscription can actually be kind of like a filter in that way. Yeah, uh, it's a filter, and it's also just like hopefully make it so there aren't too many people on what um, this mega server. Uh, going into our next topic, that is going to be oh, yeah. present, and that's going to be crazy. Yeah. So the mega server, basically, the Elder Scrolls Online team is basically they've come up with the theory that they could create this mega server where everyone who's playing is on the same server at the same time which is kind of ridiculous thinking of like how many servers it takes to run all the other MMORPGs because there's just so many people but I mean it would just take up so much data and space we don't know if it's possible but I mean it would be it would be awesome they're basically guaranteeing it so that's pretty great like they they actually have to work on the server nonstop, so it might actually affect the price negatively. Um, lastly, uh, well, basically that that's it. Uh, no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, lastly, th- we don't have time for lastly. So um, I'm gonna say bye to you guys. Hope you enjoyed this and um, cue outro. Cue outro. All right. Bye bye.